All right, guys, Wages World here. It's July 10th going into the, to the 11th, 2020. And I'm just going to jump into this. We got a CME coming at us. Um, I caught Comet Neowise on Stereo A, and I'll show you guys that. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Um, I don't think anybody else has really caught it there because it was only there for a second. And, and I'll show it to you here in a minute. Um, that, and um, obviously we'll go over the Schumann information. And, um, yeah, and the CME is coming at us, so. Anyway, um, this is a comment left by Lynn. She's talking about harp. Now, she had asked me this before, and I couldn't give her a really good answer. Um, I think we had might have had a brief conversation, but I didn't know, I don't know enough about harp to really even give it any kind of a good opinion on it. I just know it's weather modification, and I know there's a lot of stuff behind it that, you know, I haven't researched out myself. So she's asking, can it have an effect on the Schumann? That's what she's asking me. Um, if anybody has any information on that, please feel free to drop it in there and let her let her go look at it and look at some of the stuff that you guys know. I would love to know more about that, just to, just so you know. And something I love about what she's done here is she's been doing research on this, guys. Okay, so you can learn something just from this comment. She left you a link. She's saying she ran into a, a PDF file that says human and it's called Human Resonances and Human uh, Psychobiology. New Tesla, okay? Um, it, look, I can't, it says 2010 when that was written. Now, do I think that this could have an effect on the frequency? Yes, I do, okay? Anything that's of, of that sort can change frequency. Now, can it change it globally all at the same time? It would take a complete system that covers the whole globe to do something like that. But is it possible that it could change it regionally and affect our graphs? Most certainly. Okay, that's just my opinion. Um, take that for what it's worth, and you know. But thanks again, Lynn, for uh, having some patience there with me. I just don't know a whole whole lot about heart. Um, I do need to learn a little bit more about that. So um, we'll move on. Okay, guys, I got you back over here at Seeds. This is our view as if we went out and looked at the sun. That's the that's the viewpoint of this satellite. Okay. Now this is the this is the CME that happened back on um, the eighth end of the day on the 8th, end of the beginning of the day on the 9th, okay? And I've already shown you guys this, right? Um, but what I want to point out here is, obviously, this this bigger one is not coming at us, okay? It, it's, it's going off to the side of us, all right? It's actually heading to the right, maybe even slightly a little bit towards the back. But if you remember, I pointed this out. This little loop thing, it kind of comes right here. Okay, here it comes, right there. You see that? That is another eruption. That came from the southern part of the, the sun. There was an unstable area, and it did release, okay? Be it, it not, it's probably not that powerful, but it did release. And and like I said, we had to wait for the CME tracker to kind of update, and it's, it went ahead and updated again, because I think they found some data, and they had to go change it, because now this thing right here is actually going to hit the Earth. So um, we'll take a look at that here in just a second. Uh, but also, if you guys look real close here, I think you might be able to see a, a sun diver. Uh, maybe. Um, not on C2. You could probably see it on Lasco C3. There was a little sun diver that kind of picked, poked its little head up here and went, went into the sun. Okay. Um, it was real hard to see anyway because it was so small. Um, but it did happen. So, <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, so let me take you over to the CME tracker and we'll, we'll check it out. But before we do that, I'm going to um, take you guys to the latest capture here on Seeds. And this is what we're getting right now, okay? Um, it seems as though we might be having like a series of smaller, really, really smaller uh, ejections going on. Kind of like a almost almost a constant flow. Um, it's like it's there's an active area there or something that's just kind of pulling and it's just doing it. Um, over and over and over again. Now this isn't strong stuff. That's nothing to even be worried about. Okay. Um, but you can see over here, it almost looked like another straight line started to happen there too. So, but I'm not seeing nothing on SDO to tell me that that's a CME because it's not. I don't think it's a CME. So it's just some some energy is leaving the sun there. So um, let me take you over to CME tracker. Okay, guys, I got you over to CME tracker. Now, 
I want to start this by saying that, remember I said this thing doesn't update until it sees another CME? The one I showed you yesterday just had this, this bigger one here. See this one? See how it's flying off there? Here, I'll zoom in. Okay, that came off on the 8th. Technically, the second one did not leave the sun until the 9th. See how it's kind of behind it in time? It's, it's coming off right here. Okay? So, that's why this, this model is showing them both right now. Because it did. It seen another one, so it went ahead and put it on there. Um, it looks as though this thing may be a serious... Try to catch a date. Um, probably like the... Oh gosh, let's see here. Like the 13th, 14th. Okay? That this thing is probably going to affect Earth. Now, what we're looking at here, guys, this is a, this is a top-down view on the left. Okay, Earth is the orange ball. All right? Now, this is the side view. So, we can definitively say on the top view that this CME looks like it's going to affect us, right? Or solar storm. Let's just call it a solar storm because I'm not sure if it was big enough to really be calling it a CME. Um, so, we're just going to call it that for right now. And so, there you go. So, that definitely hitting us there. And remember, this is a two-dimensional model, and it's trying to show us something three-dimensional, which is why we have to have these uh, other views to be able to get a correct direction. So, as you're watching this, you're seeing, boom, right there, it hits us, okay? Bam. All right? And then, this is the, the one where they take the orbit of the Earth around the sun, which is here, and they stretch it out in a straight line. Okay, so the Earth's here, and Stereo A is right there. If you look over here at the other, here, let's just do this. The yellow ball's Earth, that's Stereo A in red. In reference, there's, there's Earth, and there's Stereo A. You see the difference as far as what they're trying to show you? Okay, now, remember what I said, you, you look for the distortion. On this on this particular graph there's that first one and there's the second one you can clearly see that this thing is going to get us a little bit okay it's not right in the middle it does look like it's a glancing blow but you know we do have to pay attention here in the next few days that here around the 14th probably um we'll have to keep an eye on this and see what happens we could get a geomagnetic storm out of it um it could raise our kp up but we could get you know we just don't know yet okay it didn't look to be all that energetic, okay, but looks can be deceiving. I've seen stuff look, you know, weaker than that and give us one heck of a hit, okay? <laughs> so, uh, we'll just have to wait on that one. But yeah, so that CME will probably, or solar storm, is going to hit us, okay? At least according to their models. And I'll keep you updated as much as I can on that. Okay, guys, this is a... Uh, this is a site that I don't usually take you guys to, but I do look at this a lot. And what this is, is the SETI is a, basically it's a tool, and it's on Stereo A. So to let you guys understand what I'm talking about, the sun is here, okay? Stereo A is here. Earth is over here. This camera right here is on this, this satellite over here, Stereo A. The other one, the other one was on a different satellite, different point of view. Okay? Um, the Navy. The Navy site. Now, that Navy site has been down for over a year now, guys. Almost two. And it, they're, they're saying it was like a software update. And I'm like, really? And it's taking you that long to get it back up and running? Whatever. But anyway, we can still get similar views. It's just from a different angle. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you uh, how to do this real quick. Okay, guys. Um, what we're seeing here, again, remember, the sun's here. Okay, so the satellite is actually over here way far back. Earth is over here, off the, off the screen there. Okay? So, that's the point of view. We're looking at the sun from the side, basically. Okay? And so, don't worry about that in, at the end there. Um, it does that every time at the end of the time lapse on this tool for whatever reason. 
no matter what date you enter there the last few captures do that it's crazy i don't know why it does that but it does so um if you look at the day here i took you back to the fifth and it and on through to the tenth okay so again you're getting to see some of that cme action going on too watch right there see that right there on the end um that was that one that's going to come at us so there it is again <laughs> okay here let me slow it down maybe maybe that'd be better okay um just so you guys get a good look at that and i'll show you comment neil wise here in just a second but you can see this stuff erupt off the sun okay there it goes see that boom now guys i want to point out something else real quick now i know you guys are going to see this and people always wig out about this i used to too you're going to see a really bright light. It looks almost like an explosion. Okay. Like a planet's blowing up or something like that. It's about what it looks like. But it's not. Okay. What happens is when a, when a bright light source gets to the edge of the camera here, it does that. It's how the camera interprets it. So watch what's going to happen here. It'll happen real quick. See that right there? All that is is a planet getting close to the, e the viewing edge of the camera okay that's why it does it no other reason there's not a planet there blowing up if that was the case we'd all not even be here because anytime a planet goes across this screen and it gets to that position or for that matter even if it's on any edge it usually does it okay we've seen it there we've seen it over here we've seen it on the bottom we've seen it on the top so i mean it's that's it, that is what it is so don't let somebody tell you that there's a planet out there exploding. That's not what's going on. So, comment Neowise. Check it out. Watch this. Okay, that is not comment Neowise right there. That's a, a planet, a known planet. Here comes comment Neowise off here to the left. You see it? That's comment Neowise, guys. And I can see why people missed it or hadn't seen it yet. You see what it's doing there? It looks like it's going to hang in there for a minute. And then there it goes off the screen. Okay. So, you know, we got a chance to see it. They said we might be able to see it on Stereo A. And we are. Um, most definitely seeing it on Stereo A. Let me speed that up and we'll watch it a few times. I think it's pretty cool. Alright, you can even see its tail. Let me... uh. See it? Kind of waver in there. That's its tail. I think it's pretty cool, guys. That's probably one of the better satellite captures I've seen of this so far. I've been getting crazy good pictures of this thing here from, from the surface of the Earth, too. Those guys out there, you guys getting pictures like that, you guys are knocking it out of the park when it comes to that. I mean, there is a... Yeah. And not to mention, this thing is... Uh, the core of this, by the way, is bigger than what they thought. So, at least that's what the consistency is right now. It does, and again, it looks like it's going to survive. And it, even if it does go to dust, um, it's still going to give us, a, it's going to hold together enough. It's going to give us a pretty good light show. And um, so, yeah. So, take your kids out there. Take advantage of this. Spend some time with them. And, or even if it's your, your wife or your girlfriend or husband and, and boyfriend and anything like that i mean just just go sp spend some time and look at something special you guys are never going to be able to see this again the next time this thing if it makes it next time this thing is around we'll all be dead <laughs> um not the whole planet that's not what i'm saying this gen our generation yeah it's gonna be like 600 years for this thing makes it back around i think if i'm correct on that it might even be longer than that so yeah so take that in consideration when you're looking at this this is something special so so yeah guys um i think i'm going to end the video there uh there's a you know we could keep talking about stuff all day long you guys know that um but i do just i just want everybody to understand that 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 cme is now heading towards us i was questioning whether it was or not yesterday and i was waiting for that data to come in and it finally did um that the bigger one is going to miss us okay but it does look as though that that other one is going to get us. So I'll keep you guys updated. And um, God bless.
Yeshua saves and uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid.